So this is the Katiga scientific calculator with graphing function. This was on sale in Amazon for about $32. Now, I've never used this calculator before. And this is just an unboxing. It says right here it's built-in graphics, five operation modes, over 360 functions. Um, it does fractions, apparently, and there's a protective cover. A three inch, um, three inches to read LCD display. Uh, over here, it's uh, there's an address for South El Monte, California. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Uh, <clears throat> this is model CS121. Doesn't say here. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, it's right there, right? See CS121. Uh, doesn't oh no, so it's over here. CS121. <clears throat> Where is it made? I don't know. Okay, let's open it up. I don't know. I've never seen this before. Uh, let's see. Let's see how this looks. wrapped nicely. Some instructions. Hmm, interesting. There's a thank you, one year warranty, um, customer service, a 323 number, that's interesting. Oh, user manual like the old days. Nice, very nice. Ah, it says close and open. There's a reset button here. Oh, that's interesting. This tab is probably so you can turn the calculator on. Let's open. Let's see. What it says I switched it here. Ah, uh huh. It has two batteries. Let's see which ones. They are the CR2032 uh, positive and positive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this one out. Push this one back. So you can switch the batteries if you need to. And then I'm going to close it here. Okay. All right. It's a little, it's lightweight. Hmm. Okay, let's open it. Let's see. It doesn't look like it doesn't snap. Does it? No, or is it the, um, am I doing it the wrong way? No? Not the right way. It doesn't snap in, okay. It looks like it's turned on already. Let's turn it off. No solar. And we turn it on. Oh, maybe we can brighten this up a little bit. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Thirty-six times six buttons feel nice. Uh, Two sixteen and doesn't show me any of the math that I did. Uh, let's say I want to divide this. Yeah, answer six equals. So there doesn't seem to be any um, stacks. Uh, let's say I wanted to multiply this by um, maybe a. Ooh. Uh, let's see, no, let's, let's turn off. Let's say 8, oh, hmm. let's turn on. Oh, that's interesting, let me see. If I keep this number, if I turn it off and turn it on, I don't see it here. I don't know, does it have an answer still? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Looks like that all your numbers will go away. Hmm. 
8, ABC, 6, ABC, 9. Okay, it doesn't need to give you that fraction look, but that's okay. Let's say I want to take the square root of that answer. Uh, I don't see it here. Maybe you see it. I don't see it here. I uh, don't think so. Maybe I'll see it later. Okay, well, no, I don't see the answer. Let's put a negative 36. Let's see what it does. It gives you an error, okay? Uh, where's the clear on this one? So square root 36, 6 gives you a dot. There's a graphing function. There's this mode. We'll, we'll say complex. Uh, there's some arrows, commas. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess you can barely see it here, but that's probably where the graphing is going to be. And then there's something else going on right there. Now, compare that to a TI 83, a TI 84 plus. They almost look the same size, don't they? But this one's thicker. Um, and this operation is way different than this one. Okay. Uh, got your sign of 36. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if it has... And this is my first time looking at this. Um trying to see if it's intuitive where so it says mode let's go down can we go down or oh, we can go across okay SD regular base N okay well, it doesn't seem like it has too many functions here there has to be you know I guess that's degrees so with a D um, wow, okay. A, it looks like it has a memory, logs here, base E, base 10, cube root, that's probably third root over here, uh, store button, and it looks like it has the statistical functions. There's a, the sum of x squared y, sum of, that looks like x cubed, but can't be sure, sum of x to the fourth, that's interesting, sum of xy, sum of y, sum of y squared, what's n, sum of x, sum of x squared, so those are stats, looks like as uh, integrate, maybe differentiate, I'm not sure over here, Okay, that's neat. There's these zooms, probably for the for the graphing. But again, I'm looking for this function calc. What's calc? Doesn't do anything. There's a draw. Okay, I mean for thirty-two dollars. It looks um, a very nice, decent calculator. I don't like it that it, you know, you can't do like it doesn't show you the math that you did. Maybe it does in a different mode, um, and I don't see a way to change like let's say two degrees to radians. I'm sure it has it, but is it easy to like? Oh, here's a button because if you're familiar with one calculator. You're probably familiar with the other. Okay, so you get an idea here. It has a book, right? Let's see. Very quickly, I'm not sure if this will show on the video. Let's see. Operation number of stacks, eight. Oh, okay, let's see. Maybe it does have it. Eight. Number of stacks. 
There is a memory area known as stacks for the temporary storage of low priority numerical values and commands functions. The, num the numeric value stacks has nine levels while the command stack has 24. If a complex formula is employed, blah, 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 calculations performed in the order of the highest calculation priority, of course. Number of input output digital calculations. Oh, it doesn't say. It says it has temporary storage of low priority numeric values and commands. I'm not sure what that means. But I don't I thought maybe it would show you. Here's something else. Uh, display general. It gives you what's going on. Uh, most likely you can download this. Let's see, does it have an index? No, it doesn't. Does it have a statistics? Overflow and errors, correction, memory. So it says right here, hmm, trigonometric, logarithmic, fractions, degrees, minutes and second calculations, 32, let's see. Does it tell you how to change it? You can perform seg, uh, uh, sexagesimal, sexagesimal calculations. Never heard of that. Uh, let's see. Not very easy. The number system two eight ten sixteen is set by respectively pressing the bind oct decimal hexa corresponding to symbols B, O, D, and H. Hmm. Okay. Uh, statistical calculations, standard deviation, regression. 37. Does it have a a list feature, 37. So if I type again. Yeah, 37. Statistical calculations. Looks like you don't use a, t a table. Looks like you enter it with DT, wherever that is. Input input data pressing DT, D, DT key, which is equal to the memory each time the new piece of data is entered. And then you have to press mode, two arrows, and an equal sign to specify SD mode. Okay. Okay, this is just a different way of entering, and then alpha, sigma. So, yes, these red keys represent the statistical analysis, and it seems like it does standard deviation, population, mean shift x bar shift x bar so sh that's yellow somewhere in yellow is the x bar mm -hmm. okay supposedly probably in the other mode and then n and what else is it? regression probably linear regression right okay well too many steps DT, wow. 
and then uh, constant term regression, coefficient A, C, it does R, um, estimated value, oh, it does, I wonder what estimated value is, is that, that looks like an X with the hat on it, oh, with the hat, okay, Y hat, X hat, an estimation of the regression, okay, that has the mean, for y, for x, it looks like you put two. You can put two variables, though, of course. Sum of x, sum of uh, sum of x squared, and so forth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's all in here. I think probably the number one thing about this is it's less less expensive than this guy. A lot more features here, probably. A little bit easier to do um, because I know how to use it more probably but um, for the price getting a graphing calculator at 32 bucks is probably a good deal all right that's the unopening unboxing of this I'm going to do a video on some basic um, some basic you know calculations so you can get a sense of it all right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, show it to your friends. Uh, watch my other videos and the other calculators that I have. And I hope you have a great semester. All right, bye-bye. By the way, it does click. You gotta push it a little bit harder, but it stays. Nice. There you go, see? All right. See you later. Bye-bye.